get down. Well, guys. telling you if you have a daughter nothing is yours alone anymore nothing not your clothes not your makeup not your lip gloss okay, lip gloss is part of makeup so as I was saying not your clothes not your makeup I'm not wearing makeup not your lip gloss Nothing is yours anymore. I don't wear makeup. If she could wear makeup, she'd be in my makeup. Get out of here. Um, and no, I'm not done, but I'm, d I'm drinking my morning shake. So I did not finish my lips because it's just going to get messed up. I'll blend it and stuff after I'm done with my breakfast. So. How do you like my church clothes? Nice. That shirt that I had to pull her teeth to get her to want us to buy for her. Looks really cute on her though. I really like it. Do you have some black shorts? What the hell? Did we buy black shorts? No, those were already mine. Oh. Okay. Today is Sunday. I'm ready for church as usual per every Sunday. Today is a gloomy Sunday because it looks like this out. What? It is gloomy. I don't like it when it's like this. When it looks like this, it makes you. I always feel like my body is trying to fight depression when it looks like this outside. And that just goes to show you how the sun really does affect your mood. And that seasonal affective disorder is real. I don't have it. I don't know if everybody feels like that, but I'm just thinking maybe everybody has a touch of something that's a way that they respond to the sun. Because I know I do, and I'm like a super happy person. But anytime it's gloomy out like this, I can feel in the pit of my stomach in the back of my head there's like a cloud of or like a brush of sadness or and maybe for lack of a better word i'm not explaining that right but you feel down a little bit i literally feel down and I'm like i have to get out of the house i have to go somewhere i have to do something it's just i can't i hate that i really do i hate feeling like that mm -hmm. let me reevaluate my life why do I feel like this? I should be doing more. I should be doing this a attack from the enemy. But still in all, it's real and it's experienced. And I don't like it. What are you doing? He didn't respond to me again. Huh? He doesn't like it. He never responds to me. Oh, not when you're asking for stuff. Exactly. How come every time when you say you don't care about something, and he always says no? And then when he finally says sure about something, you say no. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Actually, you did. I don't and believe that. Well, I'm entitled to my opinion, just like everyone else is. But when at the first time my baby sat, and then Uncle Dan talked to Dad. And Dad's like, I don't care if you get a bonus for babysitting. You have a reason now. And now, I can't get one. Well, oh, that's because the no was there long before that. And just because you talk to another adult doesn't change. I was talking to Dad. My, okay, but you're talking about Uncle Dan. No. And so they're okay with Dan it. Dan to Dad. All right, phone dilemma. Except. Let's see, how many of you 
guys have gotten your 12 year old kid a phone now my stance on this is I don't think a 12 year old needs a phone especially not the phones that we have these days these mini computers that bring on a bigger headache than it does convenience because now you got more crap to monitor you got more stuff to try to protect your kids from and I got enough for that with my teenager and I don't I just don't need the double whammy I don't oh, need a double whammy just get me the don't get, don't get me a flip phone. Don't get me a super smartphone. Don't get me a flip phone. I don't, it's not want, the point. I don't need a new phone. I just don't feel like kids need to have computers, pocket computers. They don't need to have cell phones. And that's just where I stand on it. And I am not going to unnecessarily put the world in my kids' fingertips like that. I mean, it's hard enough trying to keep them from being overexposed to inappropriate stuff just with tablets and computers and all that stuff and then the phone which is a mini tablet computer it's just uh, very difficult and very frustrating trying to fight the stuff and it's not like you can expect I mean you have to teach your kids you can't expect them to have like really good judgment and it's more work for me you know I got enough stuff to have to protect them from I don't need to have to do it with the phone so Guys, I'm dropping stuff. Everybody's upset today because they want to wake up late and then make excuses for why we're running late because they want to wake up late. I don't want to twist my ankle because it's been a while since I wore these high heels. But it was fitting for my outfit today. It's always fitting. These shoes go with everything. Anyway, and they both jumped in the back seat. Now you know they're mad because they don't ever jump in the back seat. But now they're both back there. Oh, everybody's in the back seat today. That's fine. You always sit in the front and then get in the back when we get yeah, there. We're not always in a rush, so. Sure. Anyway, this lip stuff, when I put this, uh, my little thing stand, yeah. When I put this lip liner on, this is that, uh, that Wonder, the Wonder 2, which is this company that makes Wonder Brow. I guess it's the Wonder Company, whatever. Um, I forgot that this is waterproof, smudge proof eyeliner. Yes, I line my lips with eyeliner. <laughs> so when I put the lip gloss on and I was trying to smudge it, it, it wouldn't move. And I was like, wait a minute, I forgot that this was that other stuff. So my eyeliner should be good all day today because it's the, the waterproof, smudge proof eyeliner. It's got a little bit of glitter in it too. So I don't use this eyeliner all the time because even when you try to get it off, you end up for days <laughs> with glitter in certain spots around your eye. And I get sick of trying to get all the glitter off sometimes, so I don't wear it that much. But I do like it. I really like it. I only bought this one. And again, I don't wear it that much. But I think I'm going to get another one at some point. I actually often forget that I even have this eyeliner. So I probably would wear it more often if I remember that I had it. But I do hate trying to get all the glitter off so yeah uh, I think my makeup I'm, uh, uh, makes my old people allergies work yeah old people allergies I've never had allergies my whole life like I do realize and I thought it was my foundation but I'm not even wearing foundation today every time I put makeup on my eyes start watering a little it doesn't matter what brand of makeup all of it uh my eyes water a little bit and my nose run like it's doing now every time i put on any kind of uh makeup so i guess it could be worse back home from church it's exhausting talking to teenagers i am poops i don't know why i'm so tired I think I'm exhausted. 
I don't know what I'm exhausted from. But I I put my um on I'm driving home from church and I'm talking to my brother. And I just hear something hit the back of my car, poof. And then I look in the rearview mirror and I see my Bible sitting on the on the trunk of my car, flapping, and I see pages, not from the Bible, but things that I've tucked in my Bible, blowing away while I'm driving down the street at like 40 miles an hour. My Bible was just sitting on a, it was on a roof. I put it on a roof. I set it on the roof of my car to do something and forgot about it and got in the car and pulled off and was driving just happily let, rolling along. And it's just hanging on for dear life. So I would've been mad if I would've, uh, if, if that thing would've fallen off and I wouldn't have noticed it though because that was not a cheap Bible. So anyway, I got it. I pulled over and got, actually my brother jumped out and grabbed it, but it was, it was weird. <sighs> you know, I, I'm just sitting here, well, I was talking to my husband, he just went in the house. But, my daughter is going into the seventh grade, and my son will be 16, Christmas Eve, and I'm just... They're getting big fast. And they're involved in like all these different youth groups and stuff geared toward kids at our church. But Aaron's already too big for all of them except for the one. And Lexi, this is her last year being able to participate in any of the other ones too because they all stopped after sixth grade and she's she's twelve now. She's going to seventh grade. And I'm just really grateful that we have a youth group at our church and our church isn't even big it's a small church but i'm so glad that we have a, a youth group for our teens at our church because it just doesn't seem like at least not that i'm aware of there's a whole lot available for them once they hit that age group it seems like there's always things for little kids and there's always things for like the adults you know we have bible studies and stuff but there is rarely something in between So I'm just, you know, I'm grateful for it. You know, I think that uh, I probably kind of taken it, uh, taken it for granted because they've been in it for so many years, and you just expect it. But it's just now starting to sink in to me that they're not going to be able to participate in any of those things now because they've outgrown it. Hmm. I have to find something else for them to do. Yeah church-wise or God-related. You know, I just don't want my kids to be, and I have no control over it, but I just don't want them to be like a lot of kids are that once they hit a certain age or, you know, teenage years and stuff, they just get, they walk away from God and they walk away from the faith. I, I don't know exactly how to do it, but I'm trying to instill in them right now the importance of having a relationship with God and not just going to church and it's not just reading your Bible, because you can do all those things. And if you don't genuinely invest in your time and your relationship with God, then you really don't have one with him. And I think that is one of the problems with youth in this day and age and why there are so many people backsliding and so many people walking away from the faith is because we focus on a lot of the principles and how to be a good Christian and all these things but none of that works if you don't have a true real and intimate relationship with God and looking at my own life being in and out of church as a kid like my family never went probably up until I was about five or six they my mom went but then I remember kind of struggling through it being in and out trying to get there on my own and stuff as a teenager just because that's what I knew and I felt that that's where I should be at but I really wasn't grasping it and then uh, probably until about five or six years ago where I feel like I felt like God speaking to me and he kind of open my eyes to what it really was that I'm supposed to be seeking you know it's not about just going to church it's not about just reading the Bible and trying to be good and do things because the reality of it is you can try to be good but you'll never be able to 
achieve and do the things without God that you can do with God. And once I, I came to that realization, like, it just became clear for me how important relationship is. Without relationship, none of the rest of it matters. You know, we can all look like good Christians and go sit in church on Sunday morning. But if there's not any real godly change, if there's no power of the Holy Spirit working in here, then you're just putting on a mask. And it might make you feel good, but that would be only because you don't know the truth. And the truth of it is, without a real relationship with him, then there's still no hope. And you're really not, you're not going anywhere. So, anyway guys, I'm going to relax. Today is my, uh, my brother and sister-in-law's, they're twins, yes, their 36th birthday. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of chill out and go see what she's up to and maybe go visit and hang out. My husband's going to be going to work in a minute. Um, yeah, just kind of enjoy the rest of this day and then maybe uh, I'll talk to you guys later. OK, so you guys know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe below. Tell everybody you know. Follow me on Instagram. Vincetta underscore RC. And I will see you guys in the next video.